As soon as the first firework goes off, Rue immediately starts panting, whimpering, and she looks for me if I'm not right by her. And just her heart, you know, you can feel her heart racing, and I think that's the hardest part. These days, it seems like it's more and more and louder and louder, and so it's really hard to combat that. While millions of Americans look forward to fireworks displays every 4th of July, JoLynn Bush says her dog, Rue, suffers through the nights, and they are not alone. A Facebook group called Fed Up With Fireworks in Erie, PA is made up of fellow dog owners who support each other through this difficult time. Veterinary technician Jennifer King of the Animal Clinic on Peach Street says dogs usually have the worst reactions to the 4th of July. Usually it's some sort of traumatic event. They're afraid and they hide and do, you know, a lot of unusual behaviors that they didn't do before. You just learn to cope with it. It's not that often. It's not like it's happening every weekend. If you can prep for it, usually you can get through it because there are good products out there to help them through it. Thunder shirts, calming spray, white noise machines. King said numerous items have been created to help with pet anxiety and they can all be found at your nearby pet store. But dogs are not the only victims suffering through the holiday. The explosions meant for celebration of America's freedom can have a devastating effect on the men and women who actually fought for it. You have this unexpected loud noise and this flash under the cover of darkness. And for combat veterans and other veterans with PTSD, this is the type of stimuli that they may really respond to and may significantly impact their daily life. Might be flashbacks, nightmares, a severe anxiety, intrusive negative thoughts that are uncontrollable by the person. King and Rill said every year they both receive a large number of patients in response to the holiday, so they recommend anyone suffering from PTSD prepare ahead of time. As for Jo Lynn, she said she enjoys fireworks like everyone else, but she just hopes the people celebrating are a little more mindful this holiday. People can shoot off quarter sticks of dynamite and we have to deal with that, you know, and it seems to not just be on 4th of July, it seems to be the whole weekend. So just hope people understand that we're going through this and maybe be a little bit more compassionate when you're choosing to get into the big, huge spectacles. For your Erie.com, I'm Spencer Lee.